Welcome to Nova Point of Sale, Retail Sales Made Simple. In this video, I'll show you how to handle returns and exchanges. When a customer returns a product, you can issue a refund or you can exchange the product for something else. To issue a refund, you'll need the customer's original receipt. Notice that the store location where they bought the product and the invoice number are both printed at the top. Click on Receipts on the toolbar. Enter the store location and the invoice number and click Search. Sign in to confirm your authorization and you'll see the details of their purchase. Click on the Refund button on the right and again sign in to confirm. You can refund the customer's entire invoice or just some of the products they bought. If you choose Some, you'll need to specify which items to return. Click on each one and then on the right arrow and set the appropriate quantity. In this case, just one. Then click Add. You can add any additional returns from this invoice and then click Next. Once you've chosen which items to refund, or if you chose to refund the whole invoice, you'll see this page. You can issue the refund using the original payment method. For instance, you can send the payment back to the customer's credit card. Or you can create a gift card if your store only issues refunds in store credit. The third option, issuing the refund in cash, is only available to regional managers and above. Make your choice and click Refund. Nova automatically adds the returned items back to your inventory so you can sell them to someone else. Given the choice, of course, we don't want to issue refunds, we'd rather perform exchanges. As you already know, some items have fixed prices and others are open for negotiation. You can exchange a fixed price item for any product of equal or lesser value. Just click on the product the customer is returning and it will appear in the shopping cart. Click on it there and then click Exchange. The quantity becomes negative 1 and the price also becomes negative. Click Add to save. Then choose the product they'd like instead. You can click on a product with a fixed price or select a product with a non-fixed price and negotiate with the customer. If the new product is at least the same price as the return, you can click Complete Sale. Collect any additional payment to make up the difference in prices. Click on the employee who made the exchange and print the receipt. If the new product is less expensive than the return, Nova will not allow you to complete the sale. You'll need to issue a refund instead and then start a new sale for the product they'd like to take home. You can also exchange a product without a fixed price for another product with a non-fixed price. Just click on the item the customer is returning and then click on Exchange. The quantity becomes negative 1, but the price is 0. Click Add to save. Then choose another product with a non-fixed price. Enter the appropriate quantity, set the price to 0, and click Add. Now look at the spare bank. If it's 0, the two products have the same minimum price. In this example, I'm swapping a wallet for another one in the same style, just in a different color. This is an even trade. Click Complete Sale, click on your name, print the receipt, and you're done. If the spare bank is negative, you're exchanging the product for something more expensive. Perhaps the customer is returning a wallet with a minimum price of $200 and exchanging it for a purse with a minimum price of $249. The spare value is negative $49. You can click on Complete Sale and ask your manager to approve the exchange. Or you can click on the new product and negotiate with the customer for some additional payment to make up the difference. In this case, at least $49. And if the spare bank is positive, you're exchanging the product for something less expensive. Perhaps the customer is returning the same wallet with a minimum price of $200 and exchanging it for a smartphone case with a minimum price of $68 instead. That's a difference of $132. Please 
don't just give them a smartphone case and a $132 refund. Remember, they don't know your minimum prices, so this is an opportunity to make a great deal. You might offer them two smartphone cases in exchange for the wallet, or a smartphone case and a $50 gift card. The customer feels like they're getting a great deal. They'll tell their friends about your store. They'll come back to use their gift card. And you've still made some additional profit and earned an additional commission. Remember, if you're not sure how to handle a particular exchange, you can always issue a refund and then sell the new product as a separate transaction. Thanks for watching. To learn more, please visit www.novapointofsale.com.